Stone Compton. I'm the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I'm here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. And I just wanted to share a little bit with you about uh, what I just uh, finished doing. Our uh, district superintendent, Sarah Calvert, um, led a discussion group with some clergy in the district, and she's going to do another one this evening for those that couldn't come this morning um she has recommended a book entitled three practices for crossing the divide um and it's a book about how to uh engage with other people who you may disagree with and how to in in an environment in a group setting work together to truly hear one another to to listen to what is people are really saying and i put your own interpretation into into all of that um but she brought it because she knows that sometimes uh churches can um the people in churches can be passionate about what they think and it could be very different from what somebody else thinks and so we can have disagreements and we can have um misunderstandings and so this book and this uh, material is supposed to help us uh, with learning how to do that. Um, there's going to be a training um, in a few weeks in September for a few of us. Uh, I'm one of the clergy that's going to be trained uh, with this process and this, this way of approaching um, conversation and, and, and working through disagreement. Um, and then we're going to be, uh, we're going to be trained in this and then be able to take it out to other churches to help other clergy who, who haven't gone through that, maybe take it to other districts. Um, um, but uh, then also, of course, to have it for our, our own churches to be able to use. So, um, I'm excited to see where this goes and to, to engage in this and to be intentional. I'm working on, um, my intentional listening skills and um and how we can can move forward um when when we happen not to agree um and so i want to say this this was primarily just to let you know that I was going through that and it's, it's really interesting and i'm looking forward to what evolves out of that but also to say that um you know we've we've been blessed since i've been at main street um that we we've, we've been getting along pretty well and we haven't had a whole lot of disagreements or if we've had disagreements y'all have hidden it from me pretty good um but i know that it's not always going to be the case and i know that as we delve into doing some new things as we take some new adventures as we um explore what it means to be church uh, differently and and do things differently um, as we move forward um, that that can be difficult and that can be hard to have some some conversations around um, some of those changes that may be taking place and um, so I'm hoping that in in going through this process that I can be prepared to help our church when difficulties do arise when we do have um, disagreements and controversy about what are the next faithful steps that we need to be taking um, but also then to encourage you because uh, Main Street has been a place that has just embraced one another that uh, Main Street is a congregation that loves one another that accepts one another and 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 I know that we don't all agree on everything I know that there is disagreement about uh, a variety of different issues but we are coming together when we worship on Sunday mornings. We are coming together when we do all the many, many different missions that we are a part of. Um, we are engaged in ministry together as a faith community. Um, we are putting aside those differences and we're focusing on our, our mission, our mission of serving God and serving people. We are focusing on um, what it means to be a United Methodist and making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. And that's what we're focused on. And we can disagree maybe about how we go about doing that. We can disagree about the logistics that can take place to make that happen. Um, and that's okay. But we are focused on, on the main thing. And we are together focused on what we are being called to do. Uh, to be the church in Bedford that God needs us to be. To serve God and serve God's people. 
and I am, am looking forward to uh, continuing that journey with all of you uh, and what that journey might have in store for all of us. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Um, and so I just encourage you that uh, if you have disagreements to do try and find ways to, to talk with people and work through any of those disagreements. So I just left that up to let you know what's going on with me and, uh, and how I'm viewing what's happening at Main Street. Um, I hope you have a great rest of the week. I look forward to worshiping with you in person either, uh, this Sunday at 1030 or worshiping with you online. God bless.